Moving on to the price of a housing crisis. The cost of building in Toronto will soon rise by tens of thousands of dollars per unit as the city hikes development charges by nearly 50 percent. Good evening. The fees are evaluated every five years as part of a long-standing formula. But some are wondering whether it's the right time to increase costs as Toronto struggles to create more affordable housing. CTV's Andrew Brennan has been following the story and joins us live now with more. Andrew. Well, Andrea, in a market already so unattainable to so many, home ownership could become that much more unaffordable with these new costs in the years to come. It's the crane capital of North America with sky-high real estate prices as tall as the condo towers going up. The market may be cooling from rising interest rates, but City Hall is set to increase development charges on new builds as it does every five years. And it's going to be costly, but some in the residential construction industry say it won't be them ultimately footing the bill. It's not the developers or builders that pay for this. There's, there's this odd narrative out there that says that that is the case. It is the millennials and the Gen Ys that are going to pay for this, the new home buyers and renters, and they're already struggling terribly. The fees are set to rise by $18,000 for a one-bedroom unit, $35,000 per multi-bedroom unit and $43,000 for detached and semi-detached homes. The concept is growth funding growth, with new development helping pay for the infrastructure to accommodate population increases. It's a revenue stream the city says is needed to help pay for transit, roads and affordable housing. According to the city controller, even with the proposed changes, Development charges will only fund 55% of growth in the city, and the rates are still lower than elsewhere in the GTA, saying in an email, the rates reflect the value of growth-related capital costs per unit that is needed to support the new population and employment, and is critical to ensure that services are put in place as the city grows. The mayor is also on board, but his office says when Executive Committee considers this city staff proposal, Mayor Tory will introduce amendments that will address some concerns about the impact of development charges around small developments, rental construction and affordable housing efforts. Government fees in Toronto are the highest among Canada's largest cities. The government fees per square foot are for Toronto, $86, Vancouver, $70, Montreal, $24. As it stands right now, it um, doesn't seem that there's enough inventory. So even if housing prices stall or you don't increase the fees, um, the prices are still out of hand and unaffordable. It's so unaffordable right now, so more increases, like... You have to see, like, uh, the affordability. Can people afford that? Infrastructure is good, but then it's only catering to some people, not everyone. So that's a big issue. Richard Lyle says it's time for the province to create some uniformity. We've got too many silos, too many different players that aren't really talking to each other, but we have a desperate situation here. We have a crisis. It's urgent. It's drastic action needed. If not, he says Toronto will lose young, talented people unable to afford to stay. So how much of the price tag for a, current, uh, for a new home is going towards government fees? Well, in all, $137,000 under the new proposed changes. Reporting live, I'm Andrew Brennan. Andrea, back to you. Thanks, Andrew.